今日何曜日月月月月曜日 Today is Monday, January 9th, 2023, here in Pacifica, California, 12 miles south of San Francisco, Medaka Metal Style. The metal of Medaka today is Ronnie Atkins from the beautiful band Pretty Maids. This is a 2022 release, make it count. Today, by the way, it rained like crazy last night. This is a result of the storm. I like to put like empty containers to kind of measure to see how much rainfall we got. And this is how much rainfall we got yesterday. Um, a lot. Oh. And that's within, I emptied this sucker out probably. That was like 12 hours worth of rain right there. So going back to what am I pretending not to know here today? Okay, so here's a tub. I'm, I, this is my routine when I set up a brand new tub that I get from the store. It doesn't matter what store you get. It doesn't matter what brand you get. This is what I do to all these products. Okay. This right here, Brut, it is a Rubbermaid product. Um, I like it because they're tough. This is the one that I just drilled out this hole to, to make this overflow system uh, probably four days ago. So after doing this, the first thing I do to brand new tubs regardless is Liquid Dawn. Um, let me see. I scrubbed the hell out of all these things with, uh, let me see. Okay, so this, this right here. This is basically a scrub pad, right? So you basically use a scrub pad and you just rub on, rub off, man. You clean the hell out of this stuff. And the reason why you do this is a lot of plastic products, when they're selling plastic products, regardless of what the product is, they try to make it look nice, right? Presentable. So it seems like a lot of companies are putting like coatings on this. There is a layer on top of the plastic, which in time dissolves in the water, which you don't want for your fish. So regardless of what tub I get, that's the first thing I do. And I use Liquid Dawn, I rinse it with water. After I do that, I'll put in some water, right? This is tap water. And I just let it sit outside in the natural elements. You get the sun, the UV, and what I look for in the water is, I'll try to look for like, if there's any oil, skids on the top um any slime i have heard that some of the plastic that um home depot is starting to use for their tubs after a while on the surface of the water here you see like gooey stuff like gel or something and all that is coming from the surface of the plastic right and all and you really want to avoid that so what i do is after cleansing it with liquid dawn or any dish soap would do. Just make sure you just rinse it out super nice um, and clean. Just let some water sit and then look at the surface of the water to make sure you don't see any type of film, right? Weird film like foam, oil, gel, or whatnot. So this has been sitting here for about two to three days. Obviously, about a quarter of this water is like rainwater, right? But I don't see anything over here. So to me, this is ready to go. This brand new tub that I purchased probably five days ago. This is ready to go. This is ready to get used. Um, so that's what this is. Um, the reason why I have this brand new tub over here is because um, I need to bring out some fish, some medakas from indoors to the outdoors and it's like why are you doing this during the winter time 
I thought it wasn't good. Um, a couple videos ago, I was talking about this year I'm going to bring out some of the Medakas that were premature going into the winter. So they were too small. I knew they weren't going to survive. So I brought them indoors. I kept on feeding them so that they could grow to a certain size. And that certain size is, here's my barometer right here, my thumb right here. From here to here, that's about two thirds of an inch. As long as, this is just based on my experience, but I could be completely wrong. As long as they're at that size, they'll make it through the winter. And the reason why I wanna bring them out here during the winter is so that they could experience winter. In Japan, you have the four seasons. Midakas are from Japan, right? So they need to experience the temperature fluctuation for them to be able to thrive. And I have experiences where I didn't let them do that. I just let them grow indoors. And by the time I got them out here, they just weren't good parents. They didn't produce well. Their offsprings were kind of small and weak. So starting this year, um, what I'm going to do is all these little juveniles that I brought indoors uh, during the fall, early uh, winter, because they were too small. Um, all of those boys and girls that met this requirement of the two thirds of an inch, I'm bringing out over here outside. And that's predominantly the reason why I have this tub over here. So now I have this brand spanking new tub, it's ready to go. I need to create this soup. What do I mean by soup? I got to get this water ready. So right now what I have here, it's just tap water that I poured in four or five days ago. So chlorine, chloramine um, that I have in my tap water should be all gone. On top of that, this is probably like 25% like rainwater and all that stuff. And it's all natural goodness right over here. What I do need to add here before I do introduce any Medaka in this water is seed water. And again, what is seed water? To create the soup that is suitable, in my opinion, for the Medakas is I need some of this green. I need some of this green water. The green water here has a lot of photoplanktons. It has a lot of microorganisms all right, that they will be able to consume. So I need to put a little bit of this green water, the seed water, into here. So this is a real quick vlog today. Um, I was going to do this anyway, so I figure I will record this. But let me take a real quick step. <clears throat> To all you Medaka heads, <clears throat> come by Chin Chin Chayo. Let me, real quick sip. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is just a tub that I have. It's green water. I have this, um, which is, I'm telling you, this is better than a python. And this is like $2 or something like that. Um. So what's in there is this. There's a little net over here. Not a net, but a grit. So I have that inserted here. All you have to do is the pump. That's all you have to do. Pretty simple. It's easier than a Python and it's a lot cheaper. I got I could get this on eBay for two dollars and fifty cents a piece in the US. Um I usually get a five pack. Um they last for a couple of years and I just throw them away, right? So So while that's filling up up a little bit, let's see, these guys are micro tiny. They all are surviving. These guys have been out here since they were born. These guys were born like late, um, late fall. So again, 
they're still small just because they haven't been able to grow as much just because the water temperature has been so low during the winter but these are doing good uh again my ogs they're always hungry but be careful don't just because they're up here they look like they're interested in eating during the winter seasons again at nighttime it's going to get pretty cold right when it gets cold they have a hard time digesting the food so a lot of times it's better just not to feed them and this overflow system is working all these overflow systems are working Let's see let me just check this again it's almost like 5 p.m it's getting pretty chilly it's going to start raining again it's going to rain all night so these guys are doing okay. They're starting to color up a little bit. I know it's really difficult to say, but. The reflection is really bad. There's some sanchokus in there, but. Okay, so that's enough. That's enough of seed water. I'll just take this clamp off. Take this out. Alright, so that's beautiful looking water right there. How's the green tea kind of look? I may have put too much, it's a little heavy. Alright. So now I'm gonna put the seed water in here. Mix you up and yeah, okay. So this is how the overflow works actually. So you get a bunch of rain like this. Look at that. It's actually working. Yeah, it's working. It's working. And then I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. So now you have the original water that I put in here about four or five days ago. Uh, rain water in here, and then I just put some seed water in here, so. What else do I need to put in here? to get this new setup ready. I need to get some. This water hides and I'll throw a plant in there. And also, let me see. This will have like, bacteria living in here so and like in all these bins I keep a couple of these in here just in case I need to start a new tub per se I already have um, this is just like lava rock some stones I guess uh, where bacteria will live and again bacteria is really hard when it's this cold but there's some living in here so I always have a few of these like sitting around in these tubs so if I ever need to start up a, a tub I have plenty to throw in. There's one more thing that I'm missing aside from the Midaka that I'm going to put in here. Uh, I need ram some more. Do I see any ram some more? Snails. I don't at the moment, so. When I do, I'll throw some in here. And hopefully, I'll let this kind of sit, settle 
for the next, I don't know, two days or whatever. And then I will bring in the Medaka um, so that have grown um, indoors outside. So they could experience the winter and go through all that stuff. But here's the last step for today. I need some water. So this is the water that I'm gonna bring inside. Um, again, I'm gonna bring this inside. Same water from here, right, that I just put in. Um, it's gonna get, the temperature is gonna get, it's gonna to turn to the same as the temperature that I have indoors in the aquariums. And then little by little, I'll throw the Medakas in here so they get used to the water, right? Cause there is rainwater in here. It's just natural environment like water, which they haven't experienced it, right? Cause they've been indoors this whole time. Um, and then the next video, I think, it'll be actually bringing the little juveniles and introducing them into their habitat outside. And we'll see how they do during the spring. And my theory is that they'll produce, um, they'll, they'll spawn a lot more, a lot better um, than what I've experienced in the past with the Medelkas that I just kept indoors where they kind of outgrew to the point where they were mature. And because they didn't experience the lower temperatures in the morning, um, the higher temperatures during the day, uh, their sexual organs probably didn't mature the way they were supposed to, or develop the way, I think that's the word that I'm looking at, develop the way that they were intended to develop. Um, when in their natural habitat, they have the four seasons, right? So. <clears throat> so that is it for today. Domo arigato. Thank you very much, gracias. It's going to pour like crazy tonight again. Um, so the water that I took up from here, I'm sure by tomorrow, it's probably going to fill up. Um, and I'm glad that this this hole right here, the overflow system is working. So. Okay, so we'll do it again next time. Um, I can be found on Instagram, Medaka, at, no, but at Medaka Metal on YouTube. On Instagram, Medaka Metal. And uh, we'll do it again next time. Any comments, just DM me on Instagram. Uh, just leave comments below. Uh, if this content was somewhat informational give me this this thumbs up if it was junk just give me this it, i like the feedback and all that stuff so we'll connect again all you medaka heads out there don't worry we'll do it again pretty 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 soon all right outs <clears throat>